So I'm going to give you a formula for the arithmetic series in a moment, but let's do an example and think about how we can add a number like this. So 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus all the way to 100. How can we add this? So there's these individual numbers are clearly members of the arithmetic sequence, right? The common difference is 2. So does anybody know how to add this quick? You might have learned it, even though you haven't seen it before. Yes, something? You were going like this? What were we going to do? Like, so your, like, your hand um, was about to rotate. <laughs> you list them backwards. You list them backwards. Right. So this is called a uh, Gauss summation because apparently Gauss did this when he was in grade 2. Gauss? It's a very famous and arguably the greatest mathematician, the most brilliant mind from all the mathematicians that lived. So basically, you know, have you guys heard this story? Yeah. No. Where he was like grade two and his teacher told him. to add from one to hundred because she didn't want to teach, and then. And when was this? I don't. I don't know. It was a hundred years ago. <laughs> no. It's not. I don't think it's a lie. <laughs> Wait, who keeps records of? Like okay, so this is how Gauss added this. He's like, oh, hey, if I list it backwards, where's ninety-nine? There's no ninety-nine. It's all even numbers. Okay. Oh. When I list it backwards, every time I add vertically, I get the exact same number. Now, this sum here is a result of adding two of such patterns, right? Once, twice. But he's like, okay, I have a bunch of 102s, but I know exactly how many 102s I have. It's 50. So then S must be essentially 51 times by 50. All right, so what is that? Two five five zero, right? So this procedure, um, typically people call it Gauss summation because of the famous story. Okay. Now we can do this particular method to all arithmetic series.